down to uh, Resort World. Someone said that we should uh, finish that video we started with the inside, and so we're gonna go down and do the comparison between one year ago when we went down to the inside of the video and how it looks today. Almost exactly, we went down there on May 24th, 2019, okay. and today is May 15th, 2020. Okay. So we're gonna do a comparison to see what's done. Okay, so here we are, we're in the Uber. Now we are heading down to uh, meet uh, Spectre, right? At the, at, the, at the Resort World. And he's gonna give us a little tour and give us a little update what's going on there. So we're gonna meet him right now over at Sapphire. Okay, what's going on? Snuck into the resort world. Right here. There he is, he's driving us in. <laughs> in his really badass car. This is pretty nice. What, what are we riding in here? I like it. I like that sunroof. <laughs> Look at this. These chairs are awesome. Man, let's take a tour of the car. <laughs> She checked pretty close. <coughs> Did she check the back seat? <laughs> okay, we made we made it through. Okay, great. We're on the property. Okay. These guys don't seem, so, they seem like they're calm compared to over at Raider Stadium. It seems like they're running at 90%, close to 95, like, you know what I mean? I always know, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like they're running at full speed over there. And you wonder they're how They're in a panic. They, a panic kind of, kind of. I don't even know if they're doing seven days a week over there. No, they're not. They're doing, um, they're Sundays off. So Rich, are you the inspector on the car? Uh, I am one of two inspectors. On the tower. The other guy's more administrative. He's like in the tower. So what does that mean to be an inspector? Well, we ensure the safety of people. So we make sure everything is going for a You know, the engineering uh, projects. Read the plans, make sure it's a perfect plan, we're 
time. Or something's wrong. We have to figure out what's wrong. Yeah. And report it. So, that's my job in a nutshell. Uh, and, and is there anything interesting to report on this project <laughs> that you'd like to update our block and viewers <laughs> with? It's going to be the biggest thing opening in 2020 or 2021. Hopefully 2020. Awesome. Awesome. Do they have a, they have a solid date yet picked? We do not. No. That is confidential. I'm like so excited, I want to like document everything because <laughs> I'm like just like, I can't believe I'm here. Look at this. Yeah, pretty massive. Thank you. So we're up on the yeah, up 65 stories? stories right now. We got to go to 70. He's going to get taller than this. He's going to get taller than this. Oh my God. So it will be the third tallest building in Vegas. Stratosphere, of course, number one. Mountain yeah. Blue. Actually, they consider us Stratosphere is not the tallest building because it's not really occupied. So it's just an observation tower. So the tallest building in Vegas is theoretically found in blue. And then hopefully this will be number two and then for us it will be number three. So this is... Alright. We're going to get some pro pictures. Yeah. But yeah, I like getting you too because you have all the cool info. I just can't believe it. We got five of those tower cranes working around the clock, basically. And you, know, you can kind of see right over here. This is how they're forming the floors and ceilings. So steel is my point. We've got these big molds that they slip into the building and then they can put the concrete on that. It's just so tall. It's close. It's kind of insane. Like, I, don't, I feel like you're never this close to one of these buildings you can look up even, you know, it's real. Yeah. Really, and you can never go up into the towers unless you're staying here. True. Sure. And you definitely, when are you going to get to go to the penthouse kind of towers, you know, like, who ever wants to go to this? So I'm like, I wish they did, like, a tour, like, once a year where you just got yeah. to, like, see them. Just to it see is them pretty amazing. Day. This is like such an experience to me. Just last, you know, probably on Monday, I was on those silver things up there, inspecting all the little clips. Oh. So those little clips, which I'll show you a close up, is what holds all the glass on. And we have to make sure and check every single bolt is tight. We literally, you know, when they install them, they tighten them, and then they literally give me a guy that goes around with a torque wrench, and he tightens every single one of them. And I have to verify that he's tightening every single one of them, so. So uh, we make sure that everything's tight, panels don't fall off, glass doesn't fall off. So not only steel, but all the bolts. It's a tedious project, you know? We gotta read the engineering plans, make sure they're per plan. So make sure the clips are as designed. It's awesome. Yeah, you gotta have the personal video and the pro video. Right? So you say that's gonna get how, how high rates? It's gonna be 70 stories. We're at like 65 right now. So it's gonna be 680 something feet tall. <laughs> and then there's supposed to be some sort of roof structure that they're still designing, but who knows, that's still under design. So, so these elevators right here is gonna go all the way to the top for the VIPs. All of this, and it skips a few floors and shoots them all the way to the top. Penthouses, whatnot. They start about, we got a few penthouses on the 5, 7, and from 60 on up. So, it's pretty awesome. This is so cool. You can see they're, they're installing some steel right now. They're flying some steel. And, uh, yeah, they, like three beams at a time, just put it together. Hey, and these cranes are attached. Yep, we got five of these cranes circling the building. So they're working around the clock, basically. I didn't realize they were attached. Yeah, they, were. they are attached. 
that, so that, does that help for like, for when it's windy and stuff? Oh yeah. So that, yeah. Cause that's a problem with that. Yeah, I mean we've had some windy, windy, windy days here. Stuff flying off the tower. Luckily we secure everything. You know, everything's strapped down when we go in there and it's, you know, gets quite windy, we strap everything down. But all these towers have to be secured to the building because they're not freestanding structures. So we'll head on up there and do a fireproofing stuff on it. 
which is all this white stuff. So this ensures that if this place ever catches on fire, God forbid, that the fire is going to go through that first and not the steel. So we can avoid a 9-11 situation where it gets too hot and then burns the steel down. So. And then there's other measures past that, beyond that, that prevents even, you know, longer term. So, so we'll continue on this way. This is what the floor looks like. Oh. So you can see how sturdy the floor is, just the no floor alone. Way. So we've got this deck underneath called deck. And then we put all this rebar, crisscross pattern, like 12 inch increments each way. And then that gets poured with concrete. So this floor is definitely sturdy. Oh. So say that one. Man, <laughs> she wasn't filming you, she was filming that. What? So here you can see how sturdy the floor is of this casino. So right here we have about six inches of concrete, okay? And below the concrete we have these bars, okay? And below that we have something called deck. So this is the actual floor of the casino. We have the deck and then we have all this bar burning across like 12 inch increments each way. And then they pour concrete on top of that. So that's just a little example of how sturdy this floor is. And this is... So you, the oh. whole thing is like that. So you can jump up and down on this, and you'll be fine. This is so amazing. Now you said no panning, but I don't know how else to. I'm doing the same thing. I, sometimes I feel like I say that because I'm like, there's no other way to document this. I'm gonna do the exact opposite of what I said. It's more of a joke on me. It's more of a joke. It's a what do you call it? Well, because like I have to do like a 360 evening. It's more of one of those things where you gotta remember not to tell someone what to do. Uh -huh. This is amazing. This is sweet. This is all the casino. This is just the casino. This is, is this gonna be more than this tower eventually? Is it all this tower? Is it there are plans or rumors that things would be in different phases. So we have I thought I remember two, seeing like five. originally other. Originally the wind was supposed to be four towers, but they cut it down to two. Trump Tower was supposed to have two towers, but they cut it down to one. Palazzo was supposed to expand. Of course, and they built that, you know, condominium type thing where they, the Walgreens building. And then they ran out of fundings, I assume, and then they capped it off and put that wrap around it. So this one is supposed to be, well, a lot more things planned in its future. 
so cool. I remember the original thing I saw, it was a couple of towers or something, right? There's going to be a couple of towers. I remember that. That's why I was, then I got confused when I started seeing this one. I was like, is there going to be more than one? Yeah, I hope at this time it's only going to be one. I, this, one this one's so massive. What I first envisioned was a lot of small Now towers. you can see the, the scale of this thing. <laughs> you can see why. I mean, it was sitting for 10 years. And we came in here, we had to recheck everything, make sure all the, you know, the rust of steel was okay to proceed, make sure that the bolts were good, you know, and that they had to redesign everything basically from the 12th floor up. Because all we had was 12 floors and down, the original structure, echelon. So they redesigned everything, and here we are at 65 floors now. So, and they added everything here, you know, they added this little area you're gonna see here, this bump out, is what we call it. So, that's the my circular area. That's so cool. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. I think I first thought it was going to be like a bunch of little short buildings, and then this one's just started getting taller and taller and taller. I'm like, man, that's going to be a tall building. Yeah, now you'll know. And now it's not even as tall as it's, it's not to the end yet. And this is a small part, yeah, so, you know, the tower, I mean, you can lay this thing inside the tower five times over, you know. So. Very, very scary. And you can see kind of like this goes up a couple levels too, so it's not just going to be this level. Of course, we got to have our new executive suites and everything like that, so. so what is this now? We don't know yet. It's something probably yeah. part of a casino or it could be like a mini, you know, food plaza or something like that. Okay. Or like one of those little shops that stick out or something like that. on the third floor, which we're going to go out there. Really? Cool. So you get to see the making of the pool. Nice. I mean, they don't actually have the pool dug or form or anything. It's probably going to be like a stainless steel type, almost like an above the ground pool type thing, is what I'm guessing, because it's not at the ground level. So that's one of the intricate designs that we have here. So it would be quite interesting. Again, we haven't seen the plans for that, but I'm sure it's coming. Somebody probably is planning to combine these two that properties. May, that may be the outcome, yes. Say it again. Man, man, come on. <laughs> That's a really touchy stuff. No, I'm just like, practicing. This is my first person I've ever heard. Oh, really? So I'm just practicing trying to get, I don't really care. <laughs> oh, no, I was just trying to get it. No, so we can say what? We can no, say I was what? just trying to get, I know you're a very friendly person for me to hear. Yeah. But I was trying to lead you a certain way without me. I know. But you saw me doing that. Me. Okay. Again, I don't know. 
how See what I like? That was exciting, that was this, cool. This, this was is cool. actually very, very, very secret, secret information. Oh, it is? It is. Okay, so can you get in trouble by saying that? So I should have... Just blur me out. Oh, great idea! I got the new software, I've always wanted to use that. Oh, God, can I can you? change your voice, too. Yes, Yeah! <laughs> can, can we pretend like... Wait, what? you tell me. If we use him, because I want to introduce you as our friend Rich when we come in, but then later on can we say that you're somebody else? No, 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 no. But they no, figured out. No, no, do oh, this, say, blur him out in the beginning. Okay, Just yeah. tell him I'm Elvis. I'll blur him out from the beginning on. Yeah, okay, that's my friend Elvis. <laughs> okay, if we do that, go ahead now, now I'll blur you out. Go ahead and tell me what you know. Okay, so originally the owner of Resorts World came and looked at the magnificent structure across the street, and they really loved the color. So they picked the exact same color that the Win and the Encore had. Of course, they, the Win and Encore didn't like that, so they came back and they presented a lawsuit. So we don't know what is the story of the lawsuit at this moment, but allegedly, <laughs> it can't be confirmed or denied, but one of them might buy out the other, so we'll see what happens in the future. So that's one of the, the rumors going around. Thank you. You're Man, awesome. I was gonna, I want to see. Let's get, hold on to your hat. See, you missed the joke. Hold on to your hats now. But I'm not a periodic person, but I need to be. No, but did you see the joke? Your hold on to your hat. I'm like, hold on to your hats.
This is right here. We're in the delivery area. This is where the future trucks are going to deliver all the aspects of food, you know, whatever comes in here. Right over here, you'll see the theater. Which and theater of course, is that? This is going to be some grand theater. These are Cirque du Soleil performances, probably live venues, concerts, whatnot. Of course, fundraisers. <laughs> we have the major structure over here. You can see that they are painting the stripes black in its original colors. But here you could get a slight view of the practice colors, the practice palette, right in that area. So they were looking at red, oh, a deep yeah. red, maroon. As you can see the set edges of the building are red. Oh, but yeah. I guess they went on black. So we do see guys actively up there painting. So those professionals. This will look nothing like the Lumber's Woods all over finished. I don't see the similarities anyway. <laughs> Two blocks away. Okay. <laughs> so big that you think it's well now you're starting to see that it's bigger but you know at first you kind of thought it was similar but I think just you lose perspective because this lot is massive how big is the lot allegedly it's about I believe 140 some acres city center was 60 or 70 acres oh wow about twice the size of, city of center. all of city center oh no way so yeah you lose perspective Okay. Yeah, I mean, this thing stretches all the way over there. Whoa. Allegedly, they're going to have grass all in this area. Okay, that's it's really, really nice. Whoa. There's so much to capture. Talking about, I'm gonna shoot him. Then we get it done at once. Okay. <laughs> I want you to see how magnificent this small portion is right here. The intricacies of this stuff is going It's gonna make this incredible scene. We've got circles, we've got all sorts of geometric shapes, things that's never been seen here before. This is really the attention to detail that goes into each section of the structure. That is awesome. That is right actually very cool. Yeah, that's gonna be a good shot for you. Yeah, you're getting all the little, you get what he's talking about, the little, yeah, like he's all, these, all this metal work. Well, yeah, like they get us all in circles and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because this is the thing I think with your, what you said, will explain to all of Las Vegas why this thing is taking so long. Because of this stuff. This is what it's taking so long to get into the seas. The trigonometric intricacies. Right. See, so this is going to be, this might be a restaurant or something like that, or a, you know, a little waiting area. Yeah, very elaborate. Elaborate. 
just for perspective of how many bolts have been changed in this whole section. Just for safety sakes, we had to replace every single bolt. All those bolts in those columns are all replaced. Everything, all the bolts are replaced. To be sure to see.
on the Las Vegas trip. Uh, you know, some of them wanted to open on the 22nd. The governor's just like, has not given a date yet for the casinos to open. So we're still just sitting here in limbo. They're thinking they might not even open by Memorial Day, which is just unfortunate. There's no reason. Oh god. Generally? Remember? But they did um the other day they had a huge you don't have to point it on me. I do actually. Oh, you do? The other day you know, the other I, day um they did a huge bike thing down the strip. Oh that looks great up there. So we actually got to go in the resort world last year, about a year to date. Um, and inspector took us on the property. We found out he had not gotten permission and we almost got arrested. And he lost his job. That was we thought we were allowed. He said, You want a private tour of the resort? And we said, Absolutely. And then he said, Okay, well I might sneak you on a little bit. And we just thought, okay, well yeah, he's a specter. Won't be too big a deal. He sneaks us on. Like but we thought, you know, like I don't know, we still thought we were allowed even though we were sneaking on if that makes sense because we didn't realize we thought he was inspector. We thought he had the right to bring us on there. Turns out he did not. We almost all got arrested. He ended up getting fired. He almost went to jail. Yeah, so Circus Circus uh, has just recently been sold. And Jim, you know, they sold it. was going to be up in Iowa. And uh, Cisco is signed off. See you hey guys. guys. We'll check yeah. back in here in a minute. Check back in. Um, we'll be updated. Hey, Jarvis. Hey, baby. What's going on? Taking photos. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Jedi Rich Creative Producer. You can find it by just searching Jedi Rich. You can also have the Naked Jedi on there on YouTube. And then on Twitter, it's uh, Jedi Rich Com, the Naked Jedi, and Jedi Joe Blog. So thanks guys, we really enjoy making videos. We just really would love if you guys would heart our stuff once in a while because we love making the art and it is so frustrating when no one will just give a heart. Hearts are free. I don't understand. You don't even have to pay for them. We're not even asking for money. Guys, if you don't push your finger on a, on a little heart button, that's it. That's all you gotta do and we'll be so happy. And if you really wanna make us happy, there's that retweet button too. It's real snazzy. And the comment button is all right too. Even negative comments, you know. Hi, Zoltar. I check out Zoltar. Hi, Zoltar. The great Zoltar here. Listen to this, your fortune. Intending shall get you nowhere, but doing, yes, that will bring you much, much reward.